Hello everyone, welcome to Financial Success. Today I have a stock that I'm very excited to talk about. It is a penny stock and it is very speculative. It is a biotech stock and I think they have a lot of potential. And so first, before we get started, if you'd like to sign up on Webull, there is a link below and you can sign up and deposit $100 and you can get four free stocks. Also, there is a Twitter link below for my Twitter. If you'd like to follow along there, you can check that out as well. So let's get into it. The stock that I'd like to talk about today is BioOasis, and the ticker symbol for that is B-I-O-A-F. And as you can see, the stock closed at 39 cents today, and it was up just under 14%. And if we look at the chart down here, we can see that at the middle of January, the stock rose up to about 50%, and then has consolidated back down around 30 cents, and then has been up today a little bit. So I think there's a lot of potential for this stock. It is a biotech company that is focusing on breakthrough technology for blood brain barrier delivery. And so I'd like to take a look into that a little bit and kind of explain what they do. Oasis's website here, I think they do a very good job explaining what the blood brain barrier is. And so I'd like to take a look at that. Like a security detail guarding the life of a public figure, the blood-brain barrier is vigilant in defending against intruders and allowing access to only a select few. Molecules crucial to brain functions such as oxygen and glucose enter the brain, whereas toxins and most pathogens are turned away. So I think this is a very good example. And so they say here that unfortunately the power of the blood-brain barrier to protect us from harm means that delivering therapeutic drugs to the brain is exceptionally challenging. In fact, more than 98% of small molecule drugs and nearly 100% of larger biologic drugs cannot enter the brain at sufficient concentrations to cause therapeutic effects. Let's take a look at their presentation here. So the therapeutic they're developing for the BBB is their proprietary XB3, and they have 120 patents relating to this, and they are good through 2034 with an additional patent term extension up to five years. So they have a long term for this patent. Like I said, this is very speculative and very early. They are still doing a lot of testing. And so you can also see here they have many different partners. They are partnered with Chesse Group and Prothena. And then they're also in a research agreement with a major global pharma company. And so I'd like to focus on the pipeline here. As we can see, they focus on many different categories. They focus on oncology, lysosomal storage disorders, and then also the neurodegeneration for pain, epilepsy, MS, Parkinson's, and then dementia. And they also have undisclosed um, things they're also working on here with Chesai and Proltina. As you can see here, they have a lot of their trials through the discovery phase, and they are working on preclinical trials. And then they're also working on the IND for investigation on a new drug. And then they're also doing phase one testing. And so we can see some of these dates here. They're working on a lot, majority of them in Q3 and Q4 of 2021. And then they're also working on this cancer treatment here in Q1 of 2022. And so like I said, this might be a longer term stock, but I think there is a ton of potential with this. And so let's, let's go down here as well. We can see they're partnering that I talked about earlier, they have a strategic alliance with Chisai, and they have an upfront payment of $3 million, and then they also have an agreement with Bothina with an upfront payment of $1 million, and they also have other options here for $138 million and $33 million with royalties. And they also have this agreement with the leading pharmaceutical company for $500,000, and then they also have gotten a private um, investment of $200,000 recently in the past couple of weeks. And so I think they have a lot of support and they are gathering a lot of capital and so they can continue the research and investigation they need to be successful. And so let's take a look at this here. We can see this is a comparison between what they currently use to try to get these treatments into the brain and the comparison between the two, we can see that their treatment XB3 is a lot more successful at getting through the brain barrier. And so it's almost three to four times greater. And so this chart here shows it as well. We can see that these other companies are at about one to one and a half percent, whereas Bio Oasis is at a four to six percent. And so that's the injected percentage into the brain. 
And so they're very successful with this. And I definitely want to compare this to their competitors. These are different companies that are focusing on the same thing. So I'd like to focus on Denali and take a look at them. And so Denali is focusing on the neurodegenerative diseases as well. And as we can see here, they're focusing on Parkinson's, MS, and other diseases. But we can see as well that a lot of their candidates are still in the discovery phase or IND or very early clinical trials. Um, and so they're kind of in the same boat as Oasis, I believe. But I think that this stock is valued at much higher than Oasis. And so let's take a look at that here. And so this stock is on the NASDAQ, it is trading, whereas the other one is over the counter. But this stock does currently trade at about $72.94. And so it's a much larger market cap. I think they have a lot more customers as well. But I think this just shows the potential growth for the other company. So I'd like to look at their future development programs as well. There's a huge market for this, um, especially for Alzheimer's disease. And there's nearly 44 million people that it has affected worldwide. And it is the only disease that causes top 10 deaths in the US that cannot be prevented, slowed, or cured. And so they're working on trying to find a cure for that. And as they mentioned here, there's almost $600 billion annually that for a market for this unmet need and so they have a lot of potential and so they are trying to improve the delivery of meaningful levels or existing or novel ad targeted drug across the blood brain barrier and into the brain our hope that is bioasis research will help physicians to slow the progression of ad in some day to offer a cure for the disease and so i think they are definitely focusing on the right things they have all their patents in place. And so I think as they continue their testing and they get positive results, the company's gonna get a lot more attention, a lot more people investing in them. I'm sure they'll have direct offerings coming up that they can get more money invested. And so I think this slide here um, covers the company very well. They have best in class technology for delivery of drugs into the brain, outperforms other delivery technologies, able to deliver diverse payloads into the brain, it is also protected by a well-developed patent portfolio and intellectual property strategy. They also have a very strong pipeline. And then as I mentioned as well, they have partnerships with Prothena and in neurodegeneration and Chisai Group and lysosomal storage disorders. And so both of those companies are very large and so they're working with them. And so I think that's a very positive sign as well. And so I'm going to be investing in this company. I see a lot of potential for the longer term in this company, and I am very excited about it. And so if you enjoyed the video, please like and hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks, bye.